pretty things, beauty, riches, houses, cars, the, the things of this world, vanity things, and lies. That's, that's come to me. Second, <clears throat> neither give me poverty or riches. Just feed me with food convenient for me. Just sufficient enough for me today. I don't pray for too poor or too rich. Bucket. Lest when I fall, I will deny thee. When I become rich, I will deny thee. And say, who is the Lord? Because I will just trust in my riches. Lest I be poor and still and take the name of my God in vain. Many rich people, actually all of us, when we are, you know, complete, our life is so smooth, sufficient, uh, uh, money, uh, a little bit uh, abundant. We try to live life softly and, but when during COVID time, no work, no money, oh, a lot we bow down and pray. <laughs> we remember God's during problems times. <laughs> So, see, sometimes that when we are full, we was oh, who is the Lord? We just focus on our riches. But Lord, do not let me too rich and do not let me too poor. <clears throat> that is a prayer. I always pray. Therefore, we invest in our family, but not too much and not too little. Having the saving for family in the case of emergency, but not too much. In the case of emergency, like we have accident, in case we do not know, sickness, okay? Because maybe like my kids, he run and have accident, broken legs or something, etc. We should have emergency money. And to that emergency, we should not touch it. It's for saving. Sometime like last last time I borrow mom Grace money, it's not because I don't have money, but because I don't want to touch my saving money. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> mom Grace, but I repay on your you already, right? <laughs> I don't have hutang, right? <clears throat> just one month later, because the, the support is just coming, it just delay a few days. So I don't want to touch the saving money there. It's for the purpose of emergency case. Jesus said to them, He said, Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. Okay? So, uh, this context is talking about the two brothers. They are dividing the inheritance and they are fighting with each other and they come to Jesus, Lord! You tell my brother, he did not give me my share. <laughs> and that is Jesus' answer them. Beware of covetousness. It's enough for you already. <laughs> Man's life is considered not, or considered not the abundance of things which he possesses. So, when we saved our money for our family, we should have the limit of it. The limitation. Oh, do not save like this. Okay, so I have my saving for my children. I have my saving for in case he got uh, broken legs. So I have my saving for maybe he have uh, heart operations. Even though now he have no heart problem, but I'm saving for his heart operations. <laughs> and then I'm saving for another like uh, birthdays every month. And I'm saving for my uh, invitation weddings every month. <laughs> saving for... Okay, so that is too much. <laughs> That's too much. You should have the, what's that? The limitations of it. Like 100 millions, okay? Uh, for your saving in emergency case. Not too much, okay? But not too little. Just sufficient. It depends on how many members in your family and their health uh, of the current health. If your child is always sick, then you store more. If your child is healthy like my child, then no need. Just a little is enough. Like that. We have that one. And uh, 
many people saving money to build houses. So, building houses here in Vietnam, at least one billion, not include the land. one bi- If building houses in Philippines is very cheap, in Rojas, ay nako. I just the the land we bought there here, we can buy ha- we can buy a uh, car, buy lands and build houses already. <laughs> But here, all that money only have the small house. For if you want to bring for the house here in Dalat, house and lot, it's like at least 10 billion. <laughs> house and lot here in Dalat. Wow, 10 billion, uh, 9, 8 to 9 billion already for the land, the small land like this. <laughs> oh, see, that's how expensive it is. So some people, they put their goal is too high. And what happened, their salary is only 10 million a month. And they just put invest into it, invest into it until the end of their life that when they're very very old yet maybe they can build a house but yet you really waste your money again is that you really waste your money there are a lot of things there are better things for you to invest than to invest a very rich house And later on, we will see what are the better things to invest than to invest in a rich house. Me, my family, we are, what's that? Please, uh, not please. What's the word? Satisfied. Satisfied, yes. With staying in renting house. <laughs> just stay in this place, stay in this way, renting house. But not so like so big place, just sufficient enough. Just just enough for our bedrooms and kitchen and living rooms. That's it. Sufficient enough. We're not praying, expecting for the house because there are things better to invest. That is invest for the church and her ministries. The church is a representative body of Christ on earth. We all know this verse. He has put on things under his feet, Jesus' feet, and gave him, gave Jesus to be the head of all things to the church, comma, which is his body. So the church is the body of Christ. And then, if there is a place that God wants his name to be glorified, then it is the church of God. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 21, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus, world without end. Amen. So, God really wants his name to glorify in the church. So we have to invest in the church rather than in our own house. Build first the church of God before building our house. After you build out your house, you can save for your... After you build the church of God, you can save for your house. But look at this. What are the church and her ministries? This is a great commit... The great commissions of Jesus has given to his church before leaving earth. It's very simple, but sometimes we ignore it. Number one is go. Go is mission going. We always and we have to in Batini preach about going, going, sharing, sharing. Not only missionaries, us, member, the one who got saved. We have the responsibility to go out and share the gospel to the lost world, to the people outside, to the neighbors. That is our mission. We will never forget that. That is the church mission. Go. What is the song said? Uh, from, what's it? Give, give, hang down the trucks in the fireplace or across the street. What? 
across the street or over the world. The mission still the same. What's that? The song now. The mission. The mission, right? The mission still the same. Even go around the world or just across the street. There's still souls there. Church, I will stand together. Even we are few. <laughs> How few are few? Okay, this is from Mom Venus, our uh, friend. Oh, see, I'll only like that, no more. <laughs> empty pews and empty pews. Okay, so <laughs> yes, even we are few, but the few reminded us we have mission to do, to bring them in, bring them in from the field of sin, bring them in, bring them in. I'm praying that we can start an English club here in the lot. Even because here in afternoon we don't have service here, right? So uh, we don't have so don't have service in the afternoon in 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 Tainin, uh, in Tainin, in Dukdom. So we have English club on Saturday over there. I'm ready, Dukdom. So I'm praying uh, sat, uh, Sunday afternoon or evening we can have English club here. Okay, in the coffee shop, uh, and then share. After this, I told my wife, today is my, uh, tomorrow is Ting Tam birthday. So, uh, this afternoon, we'll stay here in uh, Dalat. Uh, this afternoon, 4 or 5 o'clock, we'll go out to the Sung Hung Lake, make friends. We pray, you know, who knows? Meet some students and invite immediately to the coffee shop to start immediately. The, the the Bible uh no, the Bible study the English club <laughs> actually it's like Bible study man because I'm using the Hope ESL it's starting from Genesis the creation of God creation of Adam and Adam, Eve and the falls and up to the Lord Jesus Christ it seems like Bible study in English so we pray for that and we we, we go for it because that is our missions what mission going and mission giving. The pastor needs to be an example of mission giving, mission going and mission giving, and encourage the church to give for mission. And then make disciples. And what is that making disciples? We have a Christian school. Now, Christian school for us, for me, I believe is not a business. It should be a ministry of the church. What for? To make disciples. Many of the students, they are not yet saved. Maybe they just know Jesus by name, huh? but they do not know Jesus by relationship. That is why, why we need to have devotion, why we need to have chapel or the purpose is to lead them to the knowledge of the Lord. That is our purpose. That's making disciples. How can we make them our disciples if we have if we are not better than them in some way? Right? We have to be better than them uh, by teaching them. Charities, activities, okay? We are giving charities. It's not for free. Our charity is not for free. Our charity with condition, you have to listen to the gospel first. <laughs> if just only give, you will lost. But if you give in the name of Jesus, in the gospel's sake, you will never lost. Social activities, etc. That's why we have to make disciples Go ye unto all the world and teach all nations. That is the word teach there is to make disciples. And then baptizing them, include them into the church. We have a lot of empty pews here, empty chairs here. Reminding us, souls are still here, there outside. We need to bring them in. Okay? The song... My house is full, my view is empty, it's not applicable here. <laughs> the house is not yet full. We still have to go in, bring, bring them in. And finally, teach them. Teach them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. And that is take, it will take very long times. All the things that Jesus taught me, I have to teach all other people. It takes a lot of time if I can teach. Because, you know, when I'm teaching, I'm also learning and have something new to teach again. When I teach another thing, I learn again. So if you teach this, keep on teaching a lot. And Pastor Nable always told us, 
when many of us did not volunteer themselves to go to VIC. Uh, do you know VIC, ma'am, in Bethany? You know, yeah, yeah. So we go to the public school and teach. And so many of us are uh, Bible school students and uh, L.D. Woosley uh, students and like even new year, uh, new B or first year. They're really shy. Pastor, I do not know what to teach. <laughs> now can I teach? I'm so new. And but Sanabe said very easy. When you teach, you learn. When you learn, you teach. Why teaching? You're learning. You are already in college. They are only elementary, <laughs> only middle school. You have many things to teach. And the most important thing, you have Jesus. You have things to teach. You may not know all the book of the values lessons, but yet you study one lesson, you teach that lesson. <laughs> Why you teach? You improve yourself and then learn another one and teach another lessons. That's it. Teaching. Disciples, Bible schools, Bible studies. That is our mission. We invest in church ministry. Can we lose this money? No. The only thing that people hate just ministry is what? They cannot get back. <laughs> yeah. You invest already, cannot get back. But I tell you, you will get back in heaven. The better place. When you are free from temptation, when you are free from your flesh, that will be the time God will give us our reward. Our investment, the result of our investment. Was that beautiful? Because if the Lord give me all the things that invest the profit now, uh, maybe uh, seven or ten billions he returned to me on the investment. <laughs> you know what? I will maybe just live in the world. I will just spend my things in the world and we lost everything in eternal. Then Lord, those things I invest, may you keep it in eternal. I will get there in heaven. I will receive again over there in heaven. Wow, what a wonderful promise. And this is the last, the last. See what your treasure. In daily needs, in saving amount, we have to fix amount. In our saving, like your, your, your family, maybe like 200 millions for your saving, or 500 for you, or 100 millions only for me, that is fixed. Should not increase by your covetousness. <laughs> oh, I need to increase my saving, maybe it's not enough. And then, or maybe my motto will be broken. I need to increase a little bit saving for the motto. And then later on, uh, maybe the electric will be broken. I will increase a little bit for electricity. <laughs> you will increase a lot <laughs> if you just keep on that, that mindset. You have the fixed amount. You pray for that. And daily need. What our daily need? We fix it with like uh, 200. But our families, if like 150,000 dong a day is enough for us. For our daily need. And some people, they will, oh, I need to have money saving for birthday, for weddings, so I have an extra. But for me, I said no. If you have your birthday, celebrants, or wedding, get it from your daily need. Because when you go there, you eat. You will not eat at home. You eat over there. <laughs> and when you eat over there, you eat delicious food. So when you pay a lot, so when you come back, you eat less delicious food. Instead of you eat uh, 200,000 dong a day, now you eat like 150,000 dong a day only. You save 50. You save 50 and that is for the wedding because you already eat delicious food. <laughs> so now you eat less. Budget. Budget it. Do not greedy in our saving, but budget our daily need. It should be fixed amount. And what we need to increase, what we need to give more, is for the church ministries. It is the eternal investment. An investment, I tell you, God will never lack of His promise. He said in Revelation chapter uh, 20, verse 22, I think in the last, uh, last verse, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to every man according 
as its work shall be. So this is really the promise. We have to claim to. Jesus is coming again. Let us still watch our treasure properly, fix our amount in our saving for our family and our daily needs, and invest more for the Lord's ministry. Let's pray. Gracious, mighty Father, thank you, dear Lord, for this morning, for your grace and for your love and for your reminder this morning again. Lord, help us, Father, to steward our money, our treasure, and help us, Father, to invest in your work, in your, uh, your ministry, in your church, that we will glorify your name, that we will uh, reach more souls, that we will train more people, Especially when it's coming this time, we need a lot. We need uh, uh, money for the English club every time of coffee. We need uh, money for their snacks after English club to build relationship, to build friendship. <coughs> and we need money for the Bible schools. Uh, I'm praying for the, at least two Bible school students will come this April that we can start. And Lord, there's a lot of need for their house renting, for their food and accommodations. And Lord, I pray that you will provide all this need to the church, through the church, to your people. And Lord, I pray for the church members here in Dalat Bible Baptist Church. I do not know where are they, but I just pray. The Holy Spirit, if they are really saved, the Holy Spirit is always with them. And convict them of their heart and remind them that today is the Lord's day. Today is the day that they need to humble themselves to God. Today is the day that they need to come together, encourage one, uh, each one another in the word of God. Today is the day that they need to worship, set aside the time to worship the Lord. Lord, I pray, may the Holy Spirit remind them, convict their heart of the Lord's day. Thank you, Father, for your reminder. May you help us, Father, to take the lessons to heart, to apply it into our lives. In Jesus, our Savior's name we pray. Amen and amen.